Americans got an estimated 45 billion robocalls. We are so sick of mm -hmm. them. So the FCC launched a robocall response team to try to put a stop to it. There are other changes in the works as well that could help you feel safer to answer your phone when it rings. 3 on your side, Susan Campbell joining us now. So Susan, when it says likely spam, don't pick up, right? Don't pick up that <laughs> one. So these changes have been in the works for a while, but we're coming up on a deadline that will require providers to implement caller ID authentication. That means soon when a number pops up on your caller ID, you should be able to trust that it's the real number. It's imperative that I speak to you soon as possible. They're annoying, often illegal. It's regarding your back income tax debt. And they flood our phones. Robocalls are our top consumer complaint, and they are therefore our top con consumer priority. The FCC's Patrick Weber says a lot of illegal robocalls are spoofed, which means they look like they're coming from a legitimate caller you know and trust. To stop it, the FCC is requiring voice providers to use caller ID authentication. That will allow consumers to have a level of trust when they receive a call with a caller ID, a level of trust that the number that's on their phone is actually the number that's calling them. Providers will be required to implement this technology by June 30th. There won't necessarily be a magic switch that anybody can flip where, you know, caller ID authentication will not work one day and then work perfectly the next day. Many of the larger providers have implemented this across a lot of their networks, but phone networks are very complex and very intricate. So it is going to take a while. In the meantime, the FCC says you should contact your phone company and ask about call blocking and labeling programs they already have. Consider downloading a free or inexpensive robocall blocking app to your phone and check your phone settings for built-in call blocking features. The FCC has also strengthened its rules to allow phone companies to use analytics to just block unwanted calls. And Senator Kirsten Sinema reintroduced a bipartisan bill to increase fines from $10,000 to $20,000 per violation for spoofed robocalls. We know there's a lot of support out there I for legislation in, like I that. should be in prison the rest of my life based on all the calls <laughs> I get from the government exactly. saying I didn't do this or that. They froze your passport a long time ago, <laughs> didn't they? <No. laughs> Thanks, Susan.